Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. We have got a, another good match today. One I said I was considering doing before, but we have come back to do it. Things haven't changed as I expected them to. Um, we are doing a Southampton game. I said they were third in the beginning of October and I thought they would drop off. They have not. They are doing very well at the minute. Looking at their results, they are were undefeated until Liverpool. But the only they've drawn with Chelsea and Tottenham. Other than that, to be fair, you'd probably say they're winnable games apart from maybe Everton, which would be debatable. But they've looked strong. I've yeah, they've actually scored quite a few goals as well. How are their squad looking like? Wise, uh, Redmond top scorer. How is things doing? Four and three, he's doing all right. Uh, Minamino from Liverpool, four s goals and five assists. Wow, okay, fair enough. Um, right, yeah, fair enough. They are doing incredibly well. So, I figured I'd come back for this one. The next one I will be doing it will be a double live com of Liverpool and Arsenal. And hopefully we can get them both done. But for the time being, let's get into this game. Um, before we do that, obviously we've got to cover the previous fixtures. Last time I left you off was another 1-0 against Chelsea. Fun. Seems to be a repeating pattern here. Hopefully this one won't... Well, I mean I'd prefer it to be a 1-0 win than us to lose. But hopefully it'll be a bit more exciting than that. Um, after that, we had a draw against Salzburg. I actually thought we were going to lose this. That was a goal one minute after each other, but we just couldn't break them down. It seemed like it was literally going to be, we were the better team. Well, stats had more shots. Same amount of target, more possession, but it just seemed like we couldn't shoot. We couldn't, we didn't have our shooting boots. And then when they came and sort of scored, I thought, oh, okay, it's going to be our first loss of the season. It was not. We are still unbeaten. We then beat Leeds 2-0. Ad, uh, Cavani and Martial then won 5-2 against Atlanta Martial were 2, Bruno were 2 Greenwood we then beat Aston Villa 4-0 Donny, Mason, Rashford and Maguire the fridge and then we beat Wolves 6-0 a big win there Maguire with 2, Martial with 1 Cavani with 2 and Rashford with 5 Maguire's getting a fair few goals for us 11 games, 5 goals 8 and 5 in the league he is doing very well. I mean, for most strikers, that would be a good number. But he is doing well. Then we beat Atlanta 2-1. Probably didn't deserve to win it. They were the better team. But a win is a win. I shall take it. And now, leading to this game, we are undefeated. And we are doing very well. Let's see if we can keep that going. Hopefully, we can have a big win here and keep the form going. Let's get into it. Um... Ooh, do I rest Bruno? Yeah, I'm going to risk it. Donny will get, go in that role. And hopefully he can slot in and do a job. If needs be, I'll bring on Bruno at half-time. Um, Danny Ings, go hard. Perfect. And it's a great opportunity to show all the pundits from right to back. I love going for the pundits one because it always seems to do it. They always seem to get up for it. Um, elsewhere, Liverpool face Aston Villa. will be looking to get up an early season head of steam to mount the title challenge. You reckon they'll be in the mix? Coming in the campaign. They're going to be right up there at the end of the season. How important do you think his good speed to at Man United has been for the recent form? We work hard, prepare diligently and execute efficiently. Everything else comes and goes, but if we do all that, we'll be in a good place. Life is more fun when everyone's happy. Good things are happening and long may it continue. Are you concerned that defeat may see more or less high in a plan to keep it that way? Okay, let's go. And they've already had an injury. Shea Adams. I believe Rashford. And yeah. Wasn't a great angle. He wasn't really going to score that. But let's go. Mason Greenford looks like he suffered a bruised shin. Should be able to play through it. Perfect. I will may bring on Dan James in the second half. But we'll see. Encourage the team. No highlights. But so far we have. Apparently, based on stats, we've been all over them. And Martial with another goal. Great assist by Greenwood. How is he actually doing this season? I know he's got a couple of goals. Yeah, three goals. Eight games, three goals. 
he is obviously going to be our striker for the next 10 years. Hopefully he can develop nicely. He's still only 19. But we shall see. Tominita, that's Pogba, Van der Beek, Teles, can he whip ball in? McTominay, nope. Pogba loses the ball. Well, the pass is intercepted. Ings, Diallo, Teles, McTominay. Sure, this is too long a highlight for nothing to happen. And cleared by Teles. Maguire, can he pass it to Matomini? Rashford, back to Matomini, and he almost was through. Pogba, Matomini, Rashford. Ooh. Chilean has actually been a quality signing for us. I know I said I was only going to keep him for one season. That probably still is the case, but he has been really good for us so far. Rashford, Tellers, whips the ball in. Greenwood, back sticks. Fantastic. I want to keep Greenwood on that wing and <laughs> just so he has game time. But I do think long term, as I think is the plan with United, he will be our striker. When he'll make the transition, I don't know. I may start doing it in Europa League games and just play it. Well, this season maybe not because Cavani's doing well as well. Maybe next season I'll start using him in Europe. Uh, not even Europa League, uh, Champions League. I'll start gradually building him up in that striker role, playing him in cups at striker when Cavani leaves next season. I'm saying that, if he does well, I don't know why. Hmm, I don't know why I'd let him go, but he is. I don't like having older players blocking the development of my young the youngsters at the club. But, if he's performing, can I really complain? Half-time, 2-0. Decent performance. I am very pleased. Don't get complacent. Nope, not going for that. I'm delighted. Let's go. They all look inspired. Let's go. McTominay, Rashford. With the ball in, McCarthy just claims it. And out to Cellini, Van der Beek, Marshall again. McTominay, Tellers, McTominay again. Pogba, Van der Beek, McTominay, Tellers. Oh, and cleared. Now it's to wings. And Redmond is on the break. And good block. Well, good stop. Corner, Alex Tellers whips it in. And it's cleared. Ooh, Van der Beek had an opportunity there. And they missed. And they are through. And thank God for that save. I don't know what that was by Wan Bissaka. Don't know why you couldn't clear that, but I don't. I don't know if two D would be better or three D. You usually in my saves I do two. I do three D, but I know two D is usually better for YouTube. I might go back to three D, and we'll see how it goes. Armstrong whips the ball in. Quiet. De Gea kicks it, Maguire, Van der Beek, puts Marshall through, and that wasn't really going to score for that angle anyway, but let's put it to positive, let's just try and control this game now. Greenwood, let's bring on James, yeah. Rashford for Ahmed, yeah, why not? 2-0 up, why not? Want to give these two minutes. Why is one of our players invisible? Who is that? Ahmed, fantastic. Is it Am I Ahmed or Am I'd assume it's Ahmed. Or is it Ahmad? I I don't know and I don't know how you would say it. I'd assume it's Ahmed try Ahmed Diallo. I'd assume that's how you say it correctly, and that is a goal while I'm blabbering on Martial. Second goal of the game. Let's bring on Bay to get just <laughs> just a couple of minutes. Tellers, Van der Beek, McTominay, Pogba, out to Tellers, McTominay through to the Diallo, who shot is blocked. J, nope. Tellers with a free kick, nope. Okay. It's good we could uh, rest Bruno this game, and obviously still pick up a victory. It's nice not to be a 1-0 again. 
There was quite a few highlights there. A good win. Well done, boys. Uh, very pleased with the result. Well done, lads. Good win for us. Yep. I think... I think there's a good three or four there which would have had the exact same response and it's pretty much the same. How do you think the two teams fared from a tactical perspective? I learned a lot which is a good thing. I'll go away and think about how we can react. Right. Here's the thing. I didn't le we didn't learn anything. We done well. 3-0. We have done great. Four was a fascinating match and everyone will have plenty to say about it too. Again. Was a good match. 3-0, it was convincing. I didn't learn anything tactically, but I thought it was nothing special, but I'm sure there'll be people on social media doing the amateur analysis. Good luck to them if they are. It's... Mm, <laughs> I don't know what you could say in that scenario, because it have to be this. You have to go positive. Negative doesn't really help, and obviously it'll have a negative impact, but you can't really learn that much from winning 3-0 convincingly. Uh, picked up another yellow card, technically he's six, does that record concern you? Um, can be a little reckless and he must learn to control himself better in that role. As a manager, you have to accept he's going to play all cards. Nope. Right, let's go. Marshall praised his performance and that is that. That was a good 3-0 win. It's good to not have a sort of 1-0 again. But, look at this run. We are doing exceptionally well. And I don't know what it is with the generic G G press, but for Man United it seems to work. I think the only things I've really changed is the roles. Put it to balanced. Have I changed? Yes, I believe I put tighter marking and get stuck in. But it, it is pretty much a generic G press. There's not really that much that I've changed. So it just worked really well for this team and it did do last year as well. And I'm really happy to see it continue going. Hopefully, I, I don't expect us to finish the season unbeaten. I really don't. But hopefully, we can mount a title challenge. At the beginning, I was hoping just for top four. And granted, I will still be happy with top four and a trophy. But I do think we can mount a title challenge, if not win it. And in the Champions League, we'll see, obviously, when we get to knockout stages. For the final two games, I might use it as a sort of opportunity to get some youngsters minutes. Whether that or not that cost us a loss will remains to be seen, but I don't care about losing two games in the Champions League. Get those losses out in the Champions League where it doesn't really matter at all at the minute. And then obviously in the league, we can hopefully continue that undefeated run as long as we can. And who knows? Don't really want to jinx it and say we we can do it. it it is a long season but hopefully we can remain undefeated for as long as possible anyway i hope you've enjoyed any comments feedback feel free to leave that below and have a lovely evening thank you cheers